Alright. Alright, Bill. Alright. Alright. Welcome to another episode of the Huge Podcast. <laughs> the Huge Podcast. I, I told you I was off. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of The Huge Upside. This is your host, Mikhail, and my co-host. Be out of shape, that Koi Sarmento. Man, how are you been, man? How are you? Man, been feeling funny the last, like, three days or something. You know what's going on, right? Yeah, so, um, yeah, yeah we know. Never been the same since uh, we've been recording some of those previous episodes of ours, man. Each, each each experience is different, and I know this one today's episode is going to bring something different as well. But yes, here. that's why we got this. We got this guy over here. He is the next generation. He is the next level public servant we, we have we need here in CBOC, man. But you know. Um, he's one of our own, right? Yeah. So, so just, just can you hype this guy out? Man? Can you, right. uh, like, uh, for for our listeners out there, let's hype this guy out. Like, then who he is, what he's all about, and what his beliefs are. I'm not sure if I'm the right person to do this, but man, it's been a while um, since I've, I've last heard about um, our guy. Uh, last the last time I've I've heard about them, like he he and my wife. Um, uh, spent some time uh, like last month together at my wife's house so this is like, pretty much the last time I've heard about him but I do know uh, uh, this guy is crushing it right now because he's just juggling um, so many things at this moment and it's just like yes. the embodiment of what we are too right like we're, we're, what are we trying to prove man like what the fuck like uh, we can't really be contented with just doing one thing Right, but here we are. Yeah, like, that's that's the thing, man. We never get, we never net. We we, have, we must continue to grow. Like that's that's the one of the philosophies of this guy. This guy continues to grow in all aspects yeah. of his game. And think about public and service, bro. That's what, like, um, for you, man. What's 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 the standard, man? What's the ideal for public service, bro? So for for me, for if you're gonna ask like a ordinary girl mm-hmm. that question, like for a public servant, uh, you must have the heart, right? The service, you must have the uh, experience. You must be like first. You know, you, you know what's happening. You know, you're, you're like you're there, like you're present mm-hmm. and you're approachable. Um, yeah. For me, that's I think is the best like uh, public service. Like, like, uh, like what, what about you, man? People feel what, what, what? people will feel easy around you, and uh, they can be open. Yeah. Um, like, and they can follow, not blindly yeah. follow like sheep, but follow with like um, with some sort of conviction or some sort of belief or inspiration because you know. Uh, of the public serv- uh, servants that um, they have appointed or are already there, um, but man, the, um, but I don't, I don't know the whole scoop. So um, why not? Let's go to our guest, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are proud to welcome one of our good friends, one of our batchmates, and he is our guest for today. Um, we're here to listen to his thoughts, his mindset, his approach in life, and and how we can get some inputs from from his perspective and give this man the respect he deserves. Right? You so, might damn respect, ladies and gentlemen, our guest, the one and only Victor Vito Alvarez. Welcome to the show, man. Welcome, Hi. Victor. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. I'm so sorry. I was yes. I was trying to hold my laughter. The hype is real. The standards have yes. been set high. So I hope I can I hope I can meet the standards that you've set. What do you mean standard? There but yeah, hi. 
that for, for our listeners out there, um, um, if you can see the video that we, we're doing right now, uh, you can see the aesthetics of the room. It's pretty oh, okay. high standard. This is the standard, you mean? This is this the standard. Is the, that's like, like Man. that's no. like, that's it. <laughs> Koi, like, look at me. Look at this background right here. This is cardboard, man. This is my studio right here. What standard are we talking about? I'm in a bamboo house. Like, <laughs> Dude, that's a step right there. It's just but the lighting is, uh, and the angle. It wasn't planned. Uh, no. What? Are you sure? Man, something like no, that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, something like that is planned. That's so planned. Like, that's premeditated, <laughs> man. No, it's... No, it's... That's... You, I'm sure you know, you're it's just the position, flexing, it's it? just the position of my desk already. Uh, I didn't have time to adjust. Uh, so I, yeah, well, where's, so where's, it's not planned, obviously. Where are the plants at, Vic? Right. You gotta have a plant there somewhere. I actually do. I, I kept mean, it inside. I, I kept it somewhere. But yeah, I have plants. So this is your air, inside the room. Your ergonomic setup, huh? Nice. Yeah, yeah. You got so, that so, I- IKEA so nesting consider- instinct coming, uh, going ah. You got that IKEA nesting instinct going on, man. All right, all right. <laughs> is it? Is like all a, right. Think, um, um, are you a, are you a plant people, Vic? You know, you know the, you know the trends right now. Right, right like now, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so how I I do? I just started actually. Yeah. Uh, oh, there a plant have, game. Huh? No, but I don't. I don't buy though. They're mostly just um given to me as gifts. So yeah, I, I do have plants. I, I wish I have uh, enough time to take care of them though. So, but I'm trying. There's there's so much going on right now. Uh, but yeah, I, I I'm trying to balance everything out. Nice, nice. That's what it's what. So so we we gotta add this to this like hype into plant people, right? Nice. So it's like. Aspiring one plants. Of the, the, the low yeah. maintenance plants, though. Right now, inside the room, I have snake plants. Uh. So they're very low maintenance. So manageable, manageable. Right. <laughs> Can you see yeah. that? Give us a, like, give our, us, our, give like, us a tour our... of your crib, man. <laughs> 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 so, <give us> a... <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I no, can't. Dude. So. No, it's it's um actually a testament, a proof that I haven't really planned out anything because my room right now is super messy. If I wanted to tour you, I really can. Wonder what your messy looks like. Or just the plants. Get the plants. I bet. Like, I bet. Uh, I bet I your think messy it's like on the like, what, uh, I th- I th- <laughs> <laughs> a bit something. <laughs> I. <laughs> I can't, I can't get the plant and stand up right now, cause I'm actually wearing, uh, I'm wearing my sneakers <laughs> already, <laughs> so I can't okay. stand up. Obviously. Damn, bro, he's on his PJ. He, 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 PJ. So These are PJs he's wearing. Oh, so fuck. Yeah. So you sleep, you sleep in your underwear, or, 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 or how do you like you describe a sleepwear for like for for you? To... <laughs> Why can't you stand up? So what's wrong with the pajamas, dude? If you're wearing pajamas, you can stand up. Okay, excuse my language. Okay, okay boobie. Yeah. Do, do you have a boner, Vic? <laughs> I, I think uh, I think Victor has a uh, Victor has a different sleepwear. It's like a, maybe it's sort of All right, um, private, intimate. It's I have intimate. A, I have a very strong feeling for enjoying this right now. Of course not. We have to Ooh, enjoy like, it. Of course we enjoy it. <laughs> We're just warming up. Here. Your presence is very We're just warming up. All right. Warming up. All right. I, th- I think that the questions are about to take on a serious turn. Yeah, before moving on, uh, I just want to thank you guys for having me and congratulations for... You're on your second season. I just found yep. out. We so just proclaimed. It's been quite right. some time. Yeah, I'm so excited that you have this platform to spread... Vic. Um, positivity and optimism, most especially at this at this time of the pandemic. So Thanks, congratulations! Vic. Right, um, thank you, Vic. Very, yeah, that's like so, that. so heartwarming. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got one for you, Vic. So, uh, oh, all right. Have you heard of uh, all our episodes? Uh the last I heard was with Doctor Murillo. 
It Are you was actually Dr. Murillo, like um, yeah. Do you like how it's built? <laughs> He's actually no, my I classmate mean... in high school. He's my classmate oh, yeah. and uh when back in high school, so I'm actually uh proud of uh what he has become right now. It's really impressive Definitely, that a lot man. of us in our batch in particular have um have been very successful in their chosen field. So yeah, I am yeah. I am happy for him, of course. That's, that's shout out shout out doctor. Doctor uh, shout out doctor. Shout out. Hey doc. <laughs> well, it's, 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 it sounded, it, 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 it I like this episode weird. already, man. <laughs> hey, dog. Uh, okay. Right. Tell, tell us something about yourself. Like, all right. Like, what, what you're up to? What, what uh, you've been really like? Uh, yeah. Uh, Tinder. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, no. Um, Seriously uh, though, so, um, for our for our listeners, I'm Victor Alvarez. I'm actually friends with Koi and Mikhail. Um, although I've known Mikhail since grade school, we've been yep. classmates Respect. since grade school. And so yeah, I've known them for for yeah exactly. So right now I'm at, well, I actually graduated law. I graduated in law, so I have a law degree. Although I'm reviewing for the bar exams right now, at the same time I work with the local government unit of Cagayan de Oro here in the Philippines. So uh, I work for the legal department. At the same time, I also have some other activities on the side. So yeah, like what Koi has said early on, I have I'm juggling a lot in my plate right now, but. Uh, Yeah, it's all worth it, especially at this time of the pandemic. You know, you just have to be productive and try to be like resourceful. So there's a lot going on. There's a, there's a lot of activities going on right now. Yeah. So uh, for our listeners out there, you can you can see that this guy is really uh, um, more of a focused on the public service, like. Uh, genre of uh, yeah you work right 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 so Vic, go, let's let's go through that Vic um, all right so let's start let's start with your like your your before the law pre law days mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. back yeah. in high school like before taking up law yeah did you ever envision yourself becoming a lawyer like uh, do you really yeah. wanted to be a public servant because I remember back in high school we were not acquainted right we we, we never right. talked. I just you uh, had a different different circle heard, then. It was different because, uh, you know, it was it was really close. Clo- I don't know, maybe because your friends <laughs> were um, no, we're just not really. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really have, Your circle uh, was like different. Right, right, back then, yeah. right, right. Every <laughs> everyone Wait, circle was Victor's circle. Right. Yeah, yeah, everyone. Like Mike was uh, Job, right? Right, right, oh, right. right. Just, And, uh, I don't know. Regis, right? right. We're, no, we're I, neighbors, I, right? We're neighbors. Right. I, I guess that's we're the neighbors, thing yeah. with the, that's the thing with the three of us then, because although we were batchmates in high school, we were never actually really classmates then, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Never. Yeah. We were never. never really classmates then. But yeah, um, we 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 have a tight knit batch, so like people just know each other from. From yeah, friends. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, right. just to relate to uh, to Doctor Armando Murillo, we were never acquainted. Man. Yeah, and just like it's my first time to talk to him on that episode on the uh, on the King M on the podcast. Nice. Yeah. We 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 had like we right. had like batchmates like uh, your first time too, right, Koi? Like um, yeah, like um, Anna Arquinta, Anna, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anna, right. And, That's the well, good thing, man. Uh, That's the good thing about this podcast, yeah. you know. It's like, because we have this platform, you know, we can connect with people. Um, correct. One correct, of our batchmates, Gerald. Remember our guest, Gerald? He kept saying like, Chico- man, Chico- Chico- yeah. Chico- yeah. I said, bro, like, man, this po- podcast connects people. Keep connecting, right, people. man? And that's the message we want to we we want to like. Uh, 
we want to connect people right we want to connect yeah. through people we want to get right. to know them yes sir. and we want to we want to use them as inspiration for others as well so like that's what, that's what the future yeah. upside is all about so big going back right. so have yeah you going ever back ever envisioned yourself yeah going back no actually when back in high school there was never really any intention or, or it wasn't really a long term a uh, goal to, pre- to to proceed to law um early on i was actually intending to pursue aeronautics but my parents weren't really eager Damn. or uh, yeah but yeah I, 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 I it was a childhood dream to pursue aeronautics but eventually you know uh, with with the different circumstances over time I was at a point. Uh, well, actually, I, I ha, back in high school. Then there wasn't really anything specific, except that I knew I wanted to pursue aeronautics, but that wasn't gonna happen. So I just actually tried to do well in school and just make sure that I have the I have uh, the holistic growth, holistic education. So. Uh, so that whatever career or field I would want to pursue in the future, I'll have a fighting chance. Something like that. So back in high school, yeah. The the intention to pursue law only only became clear when I went to college. But back in high school then, there wasn't really anything set in stone yet. Perfect. Um, you, you're an IS graduate, right? Right, right, right. Uh, I, I always thought that like yeah, if you can pursue aeronautics, then uh, uh, you know when people go to IS, they want to become flight attendants or something. Right. So uh, did you see yourself being as a flight attendant too? Like <laughs> it was, it was actually one other option. I've you can be a pilot and be a cabin crew, right? Right, exactly, exactly. Um, it was. And you, you can be. It was. It was a consideration back then. <laughs> Because oh. uh, I've always been fascinated with flying, mm. with with planes in general. So it was a consideration then, but things happened. I, I realized way back in college na, that um, I might as well pursue something that I have the skills and the capabilities of pursuing. So. Back then, I rem- even as early as grade school, I was actually very active with my co-curricular and extracurricular activities. I've always been... Um, Elocutions? I've always debates? Had, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I've always been comfortable speaking really? in public. Bro, so, I, re- I remember one time uh, Vic won this elocution contest. Right. Uh, grade five, grade three, grade four. Uh, Vic, uh, what's I think we thing? were competitors then. Were we? No, because... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I know I, I, I know I'm supposed to win mine, <laughs> but I screwed up. That I got third place. But yeah, I remember. I remember. Here, I think um, you were you were in some tough competition uh, in your in your time as well. But you were doing right, uh, right. what was this lament? Uh, you were laughing. You were laughing. Something. Uh, it was. It has something to do with the Judas. Judas, right? Like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, is it, it, uh, I was laughing like Judas, crazy. Judas car yet something. Yeah, 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 yeah. The traitor, the traitor. Yeah. Yeah. The traitor. Yeah. 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 Um, so. Uh, so yeah, I've always been comfortable speaking. Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, Koi, I would uh, as. Yeah, as early as grade school, I would always uh, be chosen to. Read um in masses during masses. I I um read the <laughs> I've all I I always have I've, I've 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 always been given the opportunity to speak in public because even early on I was already comfortable with it. Yeah. I I yeah. So it was a consideration for me to pursue law because I knew back then that. Um, the speaking skill, the speaking skills, and you know, being comfortable with speaking in public would be put to good use if I pursue law. So that was one motivation. Oh, nice. For me, it's just like a no-brainer. Like, 
I, I I knew Vic was in the scene. Even in high school, you were still doing it, right? Like, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I never I never got the chance to see Victor in that like kind of like in that kind in of the, like in that uh, arena. Yeah, man. Happening. I've seen. Yeah, I've dude, seen. I haven't like I I've always I, I've. I always see Victor uh, as a guy who always goes to coffee shops and bringing out <laughs> laptops and, and drinking you, coffee. And uh, going, for that's work. That's oh, the for work. Going high speed and for work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's what I. That's how I see Victor. I never see. I never saw him. Like uh, I never knew that you were competitive, Vic. Uh, that's nice. Like I know we were. We are friends for. I've known you like right, almost. Right. Right. Yeah, for almost right. a decade. Yeah, but and I never well, knew yeah. that you had this like confidence, like this, like um, um, competitive approach in you. Like yeah. So well, I uh, I used to be more competitive then, but you uh, know things have academics. changed. Right, times have changed. Our circumstances have changed. So right now I'm more I'm more chill with my approach to. Everything that's yeah. being thrown at me, so yeah. So you're like more cal- calculated. Uh, right. So right. at a young age, I'm concerned. Uh, so uh, this is for our listeners who are like on the high school, like if there uh-huh, someone uh-huh. listening, um, take us yeah, through yeah, that. Yeah. How can uh, how they can gain that kind of confidence yeah. being competitive? What was your mindset back then? What like um. What, what, what was your driving force for you to not be afraid and just like speak out, out your and perform on like stage? Uh, I guess back then I've always uh, made sure that uh, first you have to be comfortable with yourself. You have to know yourself. You have to be confident in what you can give. Sure, uh, there there may be opportunities of of failure or you know falling down, but early on you have to accept that failures and challenges are there to for for you to pick up something or for you to learn something from it and for you to become a better person. So um, there was never really any fear of failing back then. Uh, I've always believed in chances and perfect timing. So, um, if you, you, it may sound cliche, but you know, you fall seven times and you you rise back back up eight times. So, yeah, there's there's always a, a consideration for, or no, not consideration, but there's always a leeway for for failure. So yeah, I think I think, and you know, confidence is something that you build over time. So what for me, I feel what's more important is that you're comfortable with yourself and you're comfortable with the possibility of failing and not letting it, um, not letting it hinder what you really want to become in the future. Said that like. Wow. Uh... Uh, he, you agree that you failed so uh, failed so many times until yeah. you reach this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the f- yeah, I I feel the f- if anything, the failure is what made me who I am today. It, mm-hmm. It's what motivates and challenges me. Uh, yeah, I remember even as early as grade school, there have been failures and disappointments, but you rise above it and. You try to do better, cause really the competition is not with other people but with yourself. So, if it's any consolation, if you overcome your the the failures or the challenges, it actually would make you a stronger and better person. So, yeah, it's it's and more than that, more than more than that, it's always it also has to do with your mindset. So, yeah, I remember just um, always thinking that, you know, the failures and challenges won't be, uh, it won't define you. It won't define your future. So, there's really nothing to fear from failure because, if anything, it will actually make you a 
stronger and better person over time. Oh, so does it kill you, right? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Exactly. Vic, you said something there about confidence. Right? Nice. Um, very well said. Very well said. Uh, there's still just something, think, something about confidence. Did you invest early on with that? Like, the, like, did you see confidence take early? Take classes. Yeah. Did, did you take classes? Oh, on, uh, like were you trying, speaking classes? Were you trying to formula? I mean, cultivate confidence within yourself and at an early age, or did you learn about? When did you learn about confidence? Big factor to it is the environment that I grew up in. Uh, my Growing up, my parents have been nothing but supportive. Mm-hmm. Um, they haven't really set any pressure uh, over me, like how I perform academically, socially. There wasn't really any pressure. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was allowed to, to just be myself and, and ex explore explore the things around me so it did help that um there was never really any expectation uh set or or there was never right. really any pressure from from my parents so you know if if you if i did fail which i did they never really gave up because for one there wasn't really any sort of pressure or expectation so yeah I, I guess the support the support of the of the of my parents of my family w- helps there's this saying that it takes a community to raise a child yeah so um i'm i'm fortunate to be raised in a community of of tight support and uh yeah the the support system is really is really great so yeah growing up there wasn't really any fear of failing because you know um everything's just positive and so it did contribute to the confidence as far as public uh as far as public speaking yes i i did have uh, some training i was uh my parents did invest for me to to be comfortable with with um, expressing myself and being able to speak in public. But aside from that, there wasn't really any like strict class or training that I was put in. So I, in general, I would attribute it more to the the support system and the environment. It's always a support system, right, bro? Like, yes. Like what this support system that we're having in the consistency group, like yeah, everybody's yeah. beasting now and confident now, then because we have the support, we have each other's back. Like, right, right, exactly. Vic's parents have his back. Vic, Vic um, I remember way back when we were when we were chatting, and we were catching uh-huh, up, uh-huh. and um, I, I I know that growing up, you were uh, you were supposed to be a basketball player, right? You tried out for the varsity. And uh, did that have sort of an? Because <laughs> Vic's a tall guy too, and uh, right, his, right, brother, right. His, his brother plays yeah. really good you basketball. Know, right. And and like to to give our idea uh, to give idea to our audience on what what kind of a person Vic is. He's a tall guy. Like uh, he's supposed to be a basketball player. Um, he has the length, the speed, and agility. Yeah. I guess. And um, and you mentioned in grade school you were supposed to join the varsity team, right? Uh, did that any uh, did that help you in, in your confidence building <laughs> growing up? Basketball thing wasn't really something serious. It was it was actually just um, for me to have some to have some bonding with my brother because like what Mike has mentioned earlier, my brother is actually um, good with playing basketball. So growing up, my parents would push me to to pursue basketball uh, together with my brother just so we could have some bond- I, bonding. I, I, yeah. Sorry to cut you off. Like, I remember this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this one time we joined a summer basketball clinic with you and me. Right. Uh, you were there. Your brother was also there. Right, right. I'm not. 
it was really just a summer activity, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't really well. I, I was encouraged, but it wasn't really my cup of tea then. So eventually, I shifted to swimming. That's where I I actually focused. The basketball thing only blew up because of. I guess because of our batchmates also, especially the batchmates we have since grade school. But yeah, the basketball thing wasn't really. Although, I, not to say that I didn't have fun, I actually enjoyed it. But it just really wasn't my thing. So, yeah. Oh, so it's so nice to hear. There you uh, go. <laughs> yeah, like, like Vic's basketball I, I, journey. Funny, yeah, uh, the funny thing. Can you can you? Sh- what ball are you using? You know, you, you, you got like um, <laughs> there was a funny story. That's why I remember this story. There was a specific ball that it was. Really oh my play, god! For god. basketball, for oh my god! <laughs> now I get the the spontaneity of this podcast is surprising. No, because uh, it, it's <laughs> all right, all right. it's a funny right, story. Fine. Yeah, you got to hear it. Alright. Uh, what actually... Well, it was more of a compromise then. Uh, I I agreed to join summer camps on the condition that I get the... the, the there's this specific ball that I wanted to use. So, although to be fair, it what was small thing. It was small thing. Only that Balding. it was... I don't know. Maybe it was a limited edition, uh-huh. or um, it was a gray basketball with the face of Bugs Bunny. <laughs> so uh-huh. I've, all, I've always wanted to be different back then. So that's what nice. that was the compromise. Oh, that, that's nice. Um, um, can we? Uh, is this? Uh, Am I? Sh- I'm gonna share. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen right. and uh, and tell us if this is the right <laughs> ball. That uh, right. Space Jam. Is this the one, Vic? Is it? Is, it, is this the one? No, 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 no. Or no? It's called. It's gray. It's, it's gray. It's gray. And it only the had. Part. It only had his face, or Bugs Bunny's face. Mm-hmm. We don't have it. So that's a limited <laughs> edition kind of a. Right. Yeah, no. That's a limit. You still have that basketball? It's still years. That? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe you could collect them. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it's probably thing. somewhere. Probably somewhere. I don't know if you remember, but I'm really also fascinated with cars. So I remember there was this version of playing cards, but yep. they had cars on it. Yeah. So that's yeah, what I, I was. This. I was uh, yeah I, I had that back then uh, and it shows wow. you are you are fascinated with cars like yes ever, ever since you got your first one and you were like really into it right like, right we would all I remember we would always just you know go out and just drive around the city yep. back then and that Vic, was college yeah Vic, Vic would drop me off to my house because like just along the way right 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 yes. right See the growth of Victor from like how he gained that confidence, bringing up to being competitive in high school, then uh-huh. being competitive from high school, transitioning to college. Uh, so let's talk about college, man. You mentioned you studied uh, IS, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. International studies. Right. How did that? Stopped. How? Yeah. How did that help you? Like, how did you like? Uh, can you take us through your college days, your pre-law days? Uh, pre-law days, I actually started college taking, um, I was actually a major in English back then. But the funny thing though, during our batch, we were only two who took AB uh, English, who majored in English. Uh, one is our batchmate also. I, I don't remember, I don't, I'm not exactly sure if you were classmates with her. But um, I, I do know, I'm, I'm quite sure you're familiar with Shara Mumar. Entire English department, we were the two youngest. Everyone was like really old then. So <laughs> that's the reason, that's the reason why 
I eventually shifted to international studies because well yeah like like you said um the the college uh part was where I actually uh took the well I was actually thinking of my future career then more seriously so one consideration that I took when I shifted to international studies was because IS back then had um law subjects early law subjects So yeah, I did shift. Um that was the that I was at that point in time where international law they had international law too. Yeah, 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 yeah. IS did help, but um eventually moving forward to law school, law school is a different ball game in, in itself. The the pre-law course that you pursued had no bearing whatsoever. Because basically you're starting from scratch. Nothing special then. It was a typical college experience. Uh, but there was at at the back of my mind there was already this um, fear. That there was already this fear of you know um, graduating from college sooner or later and being exposed to the real world, the outside world. So. Yeah, when I shifted to third year, there it was more of a it was a defining moment because I was already thinking then of what career I really wanted to pursue. In one piece, juggling two things at the same time, and God knows right. what else you've been juggling. Dick. Probably, yeah. <laughs> probably, probably that Space Jam basketball of yours. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice insert. Um, having been given the privilege to take the bar is already an accomplishment in itself because not everyone gets to take the bar exams. You have to you have to get a law degree, and it will take you four to six years, four to seven years at the most. Because I know some people who took the took uh, law for seven years. So going into the bar. All I was actually thankful for was that I've been given the opportunity to experience it. Not so much on passing it, although it would have been great to pass it one time. But um, yeah, and and I I feel I feel that to this point in time, I've I've I'm still. Um, in the in the same headspace, I still have that same motivation and positivity to, because really at the end of the day, it's it's really just about perfect timing, and um, yeah, if it's God's time for me to pass the bar, then it will present itself. So um, taking the bar is a challenge mentally, physically, emotionally, because that's another six months. Of just strict reviewing. The first time I took the bar, uh, I and I I did my review in Manila. I reviewed uh, under the UP College of Law Review Center. So I had to relocate then, and yeah, I, I stayed in Manila for around for almost a year, around 10 months. So. Big adjustment that I had to make because that's the longest time that I've been away from home, all by myself. So, other than focusing on the review itself, I also had to to fend for myself and be independent. Then, so even during the review period, the struggle was actually very real. Although I I preferred staying inside, so I was sure not. Uh, so I was. Sure that I wasn't gonna be late for the afternoon exams. Um, the experience in itself will literally remind you of the entire law school journey, like taking the exams, like having the 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 questionnaires in front of you. I, and I'm not even kidding. You will literally remember every single moment you associate with the questions. So, like answering questions, I would literally remember how it was discussed inside the classroom, yeah. or or what example was given to me then, or how it was explained or, by my professor. Or like, so, oh, 
this is what the professor asked me before. Exactly. Yeah, right. Exactly. Mental block. No. If you had, if you had I, that experience. That, that, that's actually that's actually one of the worst fears that I had then was not remembering anything. But what I realized then when I took the bar was how completely fascinating and interesting our brain works. Because like, I'm not even kidding, during the review season, there would be times that I won't be able to remember some things, but when you're actually confronted with a question already, it just comes out of nowhere. Like, really? If, if, if I imagine it, there probably is like a lot of compartments or drawers inside your brain. Yep. And then they just like automatically open every time you, you're confronted with a question. So, when, it's actually the, amazing. Mind, it's actually amazing. It the information for you like fast, Right, fast, right. Fast, fast, and fast, that's fast. information that has been stored in your mind for like a complete four to five years. So, you can only imagine how much information there is. But, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm actually just relieved that I was able to answer the questions. Um, I'm not saying they they were the correct answer because obviously I failed the first bar exam. But, um, you know, you gave it your fighting chance. You were able to give a reasonable and logical answer. For me, that was a relief. And um, yeah, although I may have failed it, but I don't regret the experience because I've learned a lot not only with law but with myself as well right it puts you in a situation where like um you get tested right like same same uh i wouldn't say uh we are like tested mentally as they are uh out of shape but you go through this crucible man like you go undergo these trials and then you come out of it like something better like there's kind of yes. The, it's the power of the mind, man, on how you condition your mind in those situations. Right, it right, helps. Right, right. I think for us, like, uh, let me let me let, let me um, um, share an example. Like a, a while ago, me and Coco were running oh, in yeah. the winds, right? Uh, right. right. Now that no, no, that road, no, no, that road was really hell. Like it was really like shit. Like I was really I was really starting to like uh, like get angry of myself because I've been for. Or before the run, I started reading this book, uh, A Champion's Mind, and um, it shared about the uh, uh-huh. visualization process on on how on on how to be comfortable in in, in the game itself. Like, it's something. It's, it's it's just this book I read. Anyway, I I saw before the run, I tried to I practiced like uh, visual visualizing the run. Visualizing the the road, visualizing the, um, the finish line. Um, visual, yes, no, no finish line. No finish because line. it's it was the uh, ultra wind. It was just uh-huh. road. I, I was I, I I was visualizing the part when there was like uh, there the was hill, this, like this steep, this steep hill, and 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 how am I gonna react to that? Will I stop or will I push through? You know that like then when the when when the when the run started at first it was okay then when we started to get to the hill part like the, the crazy part um, um, the downhill was okay but it was still difficult though then when when we when we went to the uphill part it was a mental battle man because I visualized yeah. it that I was gonna yes, succeed right. I was gonna succeed but but my body was giving up and my mind was telling me you gotta stop dude you gotta st- Stop. You, you, you gotta stop like that that and governor's you, telling you like yeah stop man stop and but but what i did i did not stop but i like faced down uh-huh. right that's right what I did. that's what i exactly. did exactly so that so like it's 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 sort of uh, it's a new challenge for me because uh it's um conquering the mind or like uh, like controlling it it's very hard because since our thoughts are uncontrollable man like it gives you like difficult scenarios. Even I bet Vic, when you were about to enter law school, your mind immediately like um, 
bombarded you with questions with will I survive will I graduate yep. law school <laughs> right, right, will, right, will right, I pass right, right. is it really for me is it the, really mind, the mind will always correct be, correct the mind will always yes, bait you right man. like well, you, you're right. too delicate for that are you sure because right. actually, actually now that you've mentioned it um, the first year of law school is actually like a litmus test especially for those who are listening right now the first year of law school is a litmus test it will actually um, it's the filtering year. This is where um, you would, uh, moving forward to the second semester, you would realize that um, some faces have left because um, it's not for everyone. it's not for everyone. You you have you really have to survive it. And entering into law school, you you must be sure that you really want to pursue it because it's going to take so much of your time. Yep, and uh, yeah. talking to you right now, Vic. Just uh, tell us how, like, how much time you've invested into this law school thing. Yes. And uh, right, right. Like, given what um, uh, Koi has said through his experience with his mind and reading through that book and visualizing how how to go about that ultra wins and how he paced down that was his approach and yeah. how he finished that. Right. Right. Uh, how about you, Vic? Like. Um, so uh, you told us like you wouldn't say flunk, but you didn't make it in the two uh, bar. Right. It wasn't the perfect time, right? Right, right. So like, uh, what, yeah. The... What's your like? Um, well, how do you come back from that, bro? Just to break the ice, right. though. So Vic mentioning about your, you always look forward to like what's gonna happen. You're not looking forward, yeah, right? Like life mm-hmm. after the bar exams, right? Right, so right, you right. You mentioned about you mentioned about. Halloween, like, like I, that, that, like struck my, like that, that, that like that struck a chord in Koi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like like what? Of all occasions, of all, all the days, like you look forward to why Halloween? Um, is no, it because, um, uh, is there a special thing on Halloween? There actually isn't anything Halloween. special, um, to me Halloween personally. Like On only, no, well, yeah, there, there is, there really isn't anything special. To me personally, only that. Uh, well, I I mentioned that only because it's I've already missed two Halloweens for like uh. two years already because of how I have to focus on the bar since it's it's usually held in November. Oh. So November. yeah, October, November, right? <laughs> so yeah, it's been two years, and I've been looking forward to it ever since just so you know maybe uh just so i'm reminded that i'm actually done and over with the bar exam but yeah um and here it is i was actually thinking i'm getting the opportunity this year but the pandemic happened so i don't think blessing, there's going right? to be any part <laughs> it's a bless- i was actually thinking it See? was a blessing but Still, because the of the Maybe pandemic, on... oh, right. in a sense, for like for you taking the review in the bar. Yeah. Well, yeah, right, 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 right. But yeah, maybe 2022. Oh. Or, or maybe there's a virtual, like virtual, <laughs> virtual Halloween, Halloween party. party. <laughs> Zoom, like, or we're just gonna wear a costume and stuff. That would work, you know. Right, right. It's different. Right. But, I, I've, I've know, seen people well, online, Vic, like celebrating Halloween too, like. Um, they're putting up costumes already. Like, uh, are, are you huge into that? Oh, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your costumes. Like, do you have uh, a costume? You like, do you do cosplay or something? Well, not exactly. Cosplay? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's too. It's like too anime, man. It's, 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 I don't imagine nah, that like, the, um, the anime. It, the anime. No, man. It's not really. Oh. It's not really about the costume. But yeah. just being able to, I haven't honestly, I haven't really had any opportunity to party in the last how many years because of the time that I had to dedicate for law school, law review, and the bar. So really, just the opportunity to actually go out yeah. and party and socialize is something that I'm looking forward to. So yeah, and you know how right. it is with ha- Halloween. Everybody, everyone goes out to you know to party and celebrate and and wear costumes and, uh, flirt around yeah <laughs> yeah <probably. laughs> something I couldn't relate 
I wish I could relate, but I can't. Uh, why? Tell, tell us why, Vic. Why can't you relate? That, um, I don't know. Maybe it will happen sometime in the future. But, mm, I, I, it's just not me. I, I don't think. Do you think I, I flirt? I, I don't know. I, it's not me. <laughs> Then what? What? Who is? Wow. Vic, who is? Uh, Vito. Yeah, yeah let's let, 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 let's 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 do a let's let's dissect this Vito Alvarez, your alter ego. All right. You you um. Let's go back to uh, let's go let's go back to what you said. Um, you uh-huh. mentioned like uh, knowing know, knowing who you really are since you were in high school, in grade right, school. Right, right, right. Yeah, that 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 gave you the confidence on being competitive. That gave you the drive to who you are now. That mindset right. it molded you. Right, right. So, I. So who are you, Vic? Like, how did you like? Uh, hmm. Um, to our listeners out there, like, um, like. How do they know you? Like, uh, how, like, um, because in this, in this, in this times right now, like, um, like, um, pe- people are like being controlled or like being, um, not really being themselves, not being free, right, not right. being to able to, to express themselves properly. Right, right, right. And it, and it affects their growth, especially Correct. in the in the years of um, the developing years. From teenage to college to late bloomers, right? Like it, right. it affects her. It affects her me- mental thinking. And correct, I, correct. I, I, I went back to you um, because you mentioned like you already knew yourself back in high school. You already knew yourself back in grade school, right? That's how. And I related it with the with the uh, basketball thing, right? So uh, you, you get that, right? So you, you know where right, I'm right. going. Um, uh, I, for our listeners here, uh, we want to know who this alter ego, this Vito Alvarez. Um. Yeah, so uh, that's actually a hard question to answer. But if I were to give a specific answer to that, I would have to say that I am, I am who I am as you see me. Like, there's no, okay. there's no, I'm, I'm a lot of things. I'm a lot of, I'm a lot of different personas. But um, if there's anything that is um, consistent all throughout the different versions of me, it's um, my. I've always had the. I've always had the desire to to leave something relevant or or to 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 make a mark on the lives of people that I meet. I've always wanted to voice out my opinions. I've always wanted to to help to to be of service to others. So it that you probably would think I don't look the part or I don't know um, people would probably have uh, the, the opposite impression of me maybe to some with which I, I usually get a lot people think I have a really strong personality people think I'm not approachable but the reality is um, I actually I'm act- I actually just really want to to Contribute in in making a change to to the world in general. You know, it's it's good that you you, you see yourself as um, you you already know that you you really want to like be a part of that change, right? Like be a right, part of that. Right, right, right. So let let um let's dissect more into that. Like, because here in New Job Side, um, so we're here all about we're here to help out each other. We want to dissect the mind. Right, you can right. See you, you, you already have a strong mindset. You already have this strong strong persona in a good way. Mm-hmm. That you already have this fire burning. You already this drive of it. And um, for all the for for all the. And you knowing at an early age now who you who, who you truly are, right? So right, right. What, what, what I'm what I what I'm getting 
uh, where I'm getting where I'm getting too big is um, we all know like um, um, we all know like what people think about you like you know like uh, people may have judged you right right they have they have this prejudice have this, uh, by you prejudice yeah. like yeah. thinking about you um, right, did, right. Did, did, did in any way affect you like um, how were you able how were you able to uh, um, were you able to share this to your family or like uh, were you able to like express yourself your family on who you really were or who you really are right now um i i guess um i'm fortunate to to be in to to have the support system of a family that um it's just generally supportive because mm-hmm. we we never really we never really talk about it. I, I, I guess they just knew. They they right. just know. Uh-huh. Um. So. Uh, yeah. I, so. In, in that respect, uh, I usually present myself with without any labels or or. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, I, I just present myself as, you know, what you see is what you're going to get. Because even in the home setting, it really wasn't much of an issue. Uh, I, I guess I guess in my case, um, what, what mattered more to my family, my parents specifically, is um, that... Uh, an, an incident to knowing myself is knowing my limitations, knowing how far I can go and um, how far I'm willing to go. So um, I guess that's one factor that we never really had to sit sit down and talk about it only because they know oh, yes. for themselves that I too know um, my limitations or, or what I should and shouldn't do. So, yes. there, there wasn't really an understanding. Any it's a mutual yeah, yeah, understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Unspoken, like unspoken understanding. Unspoken yeah. rule or something. Right, right. right but and, they... and more than that, more than the unspoken understanding, there's the, the confidence. There's the, the confidence trust. that the, the trust and the confidence that they know I'm not going to do anything that that would be um that would put Against. me yeah. and and the family in a negative light so mm-hmm. yeah they they ha- they were confident then that i knew my limitations and and like yeah i, I guess that's uh, it Vic, well, ask you something like uh mm-hmm. um regarding that and then you consider that as putting a lid on yourself or like but or would you consider yourself like you're, like you're happy with that or you know, mm, limit yourself or I, happy where you are right now? I'm actually I'm I wouldn't say happy because we we, all, we would always have our we, we always have bad days mm-hmm. but um, more than being happy I could say I'm content with where I'm at right now I think contentment is the is the new happy of happiness. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Pero yeah, um once once you're actually contented with where you're at and with what you have and what you don't have, you you actually become a happier person because you don't let you don't allow other other things outside of that which you are contented already to affect you. So yes. yeah, I, I think more than being happy, I'm contented with with where I'm at right now. Nice, that's so nice. Like, uh, imagine the mindset, man. Like, uh, I don't think Victor won't be in this. Uh, wouldn't be in this. You know, feel confident enough to do this. And yeah. um, kudos to you, Vic. Like, uh, cause most people, like, uh, from what we see on the, from what we see on the media, or from what we yeah yeah yeah, 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 media, yeah right, is they often they close themselves, they lock themselves on who who truly are. 
Like they don't. Embrace yeah. who they are because their faith right, right, right. the trade court system might reject them. O- op- right. Opposing on your side, like your family knew, uh, there's this unspoken bond between you and your family. And um, what's great is that you had this good support system around you and it nurtured you to where you are right, right now. So, right. Um, and you know, on top of that, uh, on top of that, what we can all you have them. I know it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah. On top of that, um, you know, we all have different. We're all under different circumstances. We all have different experiences. But um, I'm ju- I'm just I'm just fortunate that um, I was given a support system that. Um, uh, is like really you know, we, we didn't the mere fact that um, we didn't have to talk about it or, or there was a mutual understanding of of um, of the matter who you were is also is, is also a consideration why I'm more confident outside because I don't let I don't let the I don't let other people's impression affect me because if my family what what matters is that my family accepts me for who I am as a person so mm-hmm. yes what what other people's impression actually don't affect me because if anything um they're not the ones you know feeding the me the or day. supporting me or at sending the end me of to the school day, they're not you exactly and yes. at the end and for me personally at the end of the day so long as so long as the support system that I have accepts me and embraces me, then I don't, I, w- I wouldn't really give a care what other people think. No. We're there. Now that's the story thinking. Right? Like, I swear. Uh, it's nice uh, to have yeah. someone like Vic come to the show, right? Yeah, dude. Like, I told you that we needed this guy. We needed that guy. We needed that kind of a push. We needed that kind of a mind. You know, like, Clear your prejudice thinking. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, Vic, uh, just uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm so happy. Like I'm so I'm so happy that you're, you you approach it that way because uh, most of the most of the uh, things we see on the social media or like in the and what we see on TV or in the videos we see on YouTube with regards to that issue is that um, they tend to like hide themselves like you know because they they, right, they right, feel right. the they, they feel the neglect they don't want the neglection the they right, don't want to be right. rejected by the people right, right, the same right, people right. that would support them the family so peers can you can, can you can you give an advice to those kinds of people on um, um for those who are afraid to go out can we for those can, who are uh can I, are we talking about the closeted ones here Or maybe um, in general. In general, okay. Perfect moment will just, you know, uh, it will just confront you when the time is right. You don't want to to preempt anything. You don't want to overdo anything. It will just come out naturally. So I guess you you just don't allow people to pressure you. Into into being someone that you're not, or or in being someone that they want you to be, because the perfect time will always will it will always happen. Nice. Uh, yeah. To continue what you're saying, because um, mm-hmm. in the end of the day, right? In the end of all days, it's always love wins, right? Right. Right. Hashtag. Right. Hashtag uh, respect, uh, man. Yeah, yeah. Like this v- Vito character, this Vito Alvarez, Vito. like uh, 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 character. It sounds like a mafia dude. The God. No, no, because it's it's Don Corleone. It's the Godfather. It's Don Corleone, man. It's Don Corleone. It's, it's Don Corleone. That's why Vito. How did you come up with the word uh, with the name Vito? Because you're Victor, right? Exactly. I, I'm very interested. I, I, I actually felt awkward. 
when you called me Vito because the three of us know I'm actually Victor. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. star. But you the, got the, uh, Vito here. Who's this guy? Uh, it it actually started back in law school because I wanted ah. to be incognito. It act, I wanted to be incognito, especially okay. on social media. So the the first thing that got into my mind was to find a translation for my name. So the the the, the Italian um, translation for Victor Emmanuel is Vittorio Emmanuel, which happens to be uh, he happens to be a king from it, in Italy, I guess something like that. I'm not exactly sure. So I changed my Facebook name, and then first year of law school uh, after a week since class started. I was wondering because I had classmates then who would call me Vito. <laughs> but I was they I probably gave of the impression that I was snobbish because huh. I didn't know that it was actually me they're addressing. <laughs> so since All then right. yeah, since then, since everyone in law school Calls you Vic. have gotten used to it, yeah, have gotten used to calling me Vit or Vito. It just I it just, you know, happened to to be the name that I've been known for in the last six years. Because the last six years I've spent with law school. You're into pu- public service, right? Right, right, right. Um, I can see it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just inventing it. Like, uh, I can see that, like, it. I finally see it. Like, um, um, it's, it's like me having a premonition right now. It's like this Vito Alvarez character. I can see it, Vito Alvarez running for something, right? It's like I, I can yeah. see it a slogan. I can see it to the walls, uh, like for public service or something, or something. Ah, uh, okay, it's possible. Well, based on um, all the things that you said, 2025, Vic. Uh, 2027. That's the thing, though. That's the thing, though. Cause like, I don't know if you guys remember, but I've also been like grade school and high school and even up to college i've always been active with with student governance correct exactly so so there's always there's always been that desire to be in a better position to help but uh over time going actually even until law school i've i've also been very active with uh with the law school organization but um over time when i was actually with when when I actually joined the city government, um, I realized uh, how how public office can be very it can be very dirty, um, especially because the political climate in the country is very competitive to the point where people resort to mudslinging and 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 character assassination over time I realized that you actually don't need the public office to be a sure. public servant it, it doesn't yeah it, it's not it's not mutually exclusive so I did have I did have some inkling or consideration um, for public office well to, to start with maybe the barangay level the, the or yeah the barangay level yeah, but, right? correct exactly you have to you have to build your you have to build your credentials yes but over time term. yeah that's but that's over time that's... I realized um, yeah public office doesn't necessarily make you a public servant so you you do get the position and the platform to be to be uh, to to help other people, but you can you can also be a regular person and be of service Do to that. other people. So, so I don't, I actually don't. At this point in time, I don't actually see myself right. seeking um, seeking public office because I'm Running content apart. with being. Oh, uh, I'm content with being nice a one. public servant already yeah. as of the moment so yeah so we just want you know, it was awesome it was fun like uh it's nice to have you back uh, it's uh, nice this to is have a very long episode yeah. 
Thanks. And, thank um, you. I'm, I'm it's good to I'm... it's 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 good to hear from you, and it's good to see you in those clothes. And, um, it's, it, and <laughs> again, I, oh man, and the aesthetics of that room, like you. Yeah, you know, man. This I read how your sleepwear, like it's so comfy to look at it. Those purple yep. like shorts. <laughs> I know. Really I just good. realized right now. <laughs> like it was like, cr- right. yeah, just like so crazy. Uh, uh, so like. Uh, before we before we let you go, man, um, uh, uh, tell us how comfortable those silky like pajama things are, like on uh, on how you sleep and how it yeah. promotes your rest. I, I don't wear this to sleep. Optimum right. rest, but I don't, it's, it's... I don't wear this to sleep. It just so happens that it's actually cold here in the room right now, so that's why this uh, is what I'm wearing. All right. Um, uh, oh, what else, Mike? Do you have any closing? Uh, closing? Uh, nothing, man. Like, Sorry. There, there's nothing I there, there's nothing I can ask now that Victor Vito Vio has not answered, man. It's pretty much Vio. Like he has like three personas. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty much answered all our questions. Man, all our questions. Man. Yes. Thank you so and much. We, uh, yeah. So. Yeah, so like, uh, um, if you guys are listeners who want to check this like uh, guy out, like you could, you, you could again follow him at his Twitter handles at B Yo Alvarez. B I E O, right? I E O Alvarez. And on Twitter, Instagram, um, give them your Instagram oh, on Twitter. That's on Twitter, right? And they can Twitter, follow you on right. Instagram as well, right? They can find right, you. Right, right. Uh, what's your um, handles in the Instagram um, handle Instagram. is Vito Alvarez V I T O A L B A R E Z. Right. All right. Uh, so uh, for 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 those people who want to know about Victor and um, yeah. his, his rants, um, his yeah. posts, his interest, <laughs> and uh, his could, availability. His availability. Ability. Um, you can for, check him for, out for on Grinder. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 seriously, seriously though, to the listeners, I only have Twitter and Instagram. Oh, what about Facebook? You mentioned yeah. that you I have, have Facebook, Facebook though, right? but, but it's private. I have Facebook, private. but more than so you, more than being okay. private, there's really nothing to see there. What about your number? What if people want to know about your yeah. number? What? They contact you. <laughs> yeah. No, for for city for city hall sake, yeah. like for CDO, like um, uh, your public service. If they have any, if they have yeah. any legal concerns, they can visit our office at the city hall. It's the city legal office, so you can find oh, there. Yeah. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. for to draw our listeners and... out there, you know who this guy is. His availability, his trips, his preferences, you know. Or, so. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta All say right. respect, man. Respect is due to this man. Give this man his respect. That, give him his damn respect. Respect. This guy needs respect. Anyway, Vic. Thank you, Vic. Yeah, thank you thank again. You. For being thank you for show. having me. It was fun. I had great yes, fun. It was fun. So, yeah. so, I'll see you guys in person, hopefully soon. Soon, man. Yeah, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Yeah, um, okay. um, if we if we ever need help with regards to our like uh law, you know, I always message you with kinds of right, like, right, 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 right. Right. any stuff legal right. advice or legal stuff. Yeah, legal <laughs> advice. <laughs> Vito always, is the like, way to go. Victor, you know? Yeah, Vito. Don Vito. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah, Vic. We'll have you soon. Uh, thank you for coming, man. We'll see you. Yeah, sure. Thank sure. You so much, Anytime. Vic. Right. Bye. Bye. Um, Bye. Anyway, this is, this is Hale, yeah. Koi, and Vito signing off from.